Gentlemen, 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 what up, guys? It's your boy B in the lab, gentlemen. Halfway through this pump. Whoo, burning, boy. My back is on fire, gentlemen, and I'm feeling the burn. Feeling the burn, baby. But it's still a victory, and it's still a W, gentlemen. Sir, yes, sir. Whew. Yeah, I want to touch on this. You know what, gentlemen? Be corny as you want to be, gentlemen. Be corny as you need to be, man. We got a big problem with this beehive, man. And I'm getting, I'm getting tired of the beehive, bro. The stuff the beehive is talking about doesn't work, man. Whew. Whew. I had somebody say, how you work out every day and you ain't losing no weight? I'm not doing cardio. I guess they call themselves trying to be funny. You know, I'm not doing, I'm not doing uh, cardio. I'm not playing full court hoop. I'm actually strengthening my core. So I'm buffing. But if I were to cut... That's where the way to come off, but you know, I guess they call themselves trying to be fine. I don't know, I don't even care. My pumps is my pumps. You got a better idea, you do it, you know. But yeah, gentlemen, be corny as you want to be. My advice to anybody, 16, 17, 18, man. See, and they got this, like say, if if if, if having a job makes you corny, then what do they want their kids to be? What do you want your kids to do, man? But see, these are like the conversations. These conversations been going on. They're just now public. It's like that Lipstick Alley uh, site where they show women how to take the condom out the trash, put it on the end of a plunger, and impregnate themselves. You know? And then it's like another thing, too. Where's all these, like, where's Oprah at? Where's Whoopi at? Why, why they can't chime in on nothing like this, man? You got all these old influencer women up in age that like, but you know, they're, they're, they're part of the problem, to be honest. Like some, I was watching somebody's video. You know how many divorces Oprah has caught? Yes, that's true. Real, real truthful. I, I forgot whose show I was watching, but it's sad though that you got to have male YouTubers speak out. There's nothing wrong with being corny, gentlemen. Be corny as you want to be. Be corny as you need to be. And if you have to, you need to take, and you may even need to take your corny ass overseas to get what you need to get, you know? But yeah, they they are, I'm telling you, man, any 16, 17, eight year old uh, young brother, my, I'm telling you, man, college, you, you either need to go to college, military, get you a trade, and if you can't get none of them, or at least, at least leave your hometown for like six months to a year. You need to do one of them things, bro. If you got family, like say you live in Seattle and you got family in Houston or Dallas or uh, Florida, you know, somewhere. Take a six month break from Seattle. Go stay, you know, take a break from your hometown, man. See some, see something different than your hometown man i'm so sick of this beehive the beehive is a f the beehive man they just they they don't even they're like killing their own and they don't even understand that they're killing their own man and it's sad that you got to have youtubers speak out on this damn beehive bro this is why i'm good on the black uh you know this is why i'm good on the black church you know if you go you know if that's your thing cool that's your thing you know, you go to the black churches. I don't have nothing against it. It's just not for me. You know, if I if I were to ever step foot back into a church, I would. You know, I'm not. You know, people want to say I'm racist. I don't care. I don't care no more. If I ever step foot in the church again, I'm either going to a white church or a mixed church. I don't care what nobody has to say. That's my opinion, and it's it, it's just that's how we roll. You know, and yeah, you know, and, and somebody, you know, they they're no different. These black church, they're no different than the street preacher. All they have is a building. That's it, man. You know, the most high is the gatekeeper to heaven. You know, not no, not no, the, the, the church ain't a gatekeeper to heaven. Ain't no pastor, no gatekeeper to heaven. Ain't no husband or wife, no gatekeeper to heaven. Ain't no record label. No gatekeeper to heaven. Doesn't matter what what who you rolling with or who um whoever your most high is. You know everybody is different. 
you know. I understand there's different religions. I don't really want to get, you know. You got Muhammad, Buddha, uh, uh, the Mormons, you know, Jesus, you know, you know, everybody's got their own. But, you know, you can feel like you're in your church's heaven, but that don't mean you're going up there, bro. You know, you could be in your pastor's heaven, but that don't mean you're going up there. You could be in your uh, husband or wife's heaven, but that don't mean you're going up there. You could, I'm telling you, you could be in your record label's heaven, but that don't mean you're going up there, you know? But you got people running around like they're the gatekeepers to heaven and hell, and you're just, they're not. You know, I'm trying to get up to that heaven, not somebody's heaven, you know? It just, it don't work, you know, you know, it's just, no, man. But yeah, man, well, you know, be corny as you want to be, gentlemen. I'm going to get back to this pump, man, feeling the burn. But yeah, man, be corny as you want to be. Don't, don't listen to the beehive, man. The beehive is on borrowed time, bro. They, they can't, you know, you, you can't continue, you know, you know, you, you, you don't want to be the king of Babylon. See, and it, see, that, that's what happens, though. When you entertain Babylon, see, this is why I don't, I don't want to entertain Babylon. I really don't care. I don't want to be the king of Babylon. What they're basically saying is that he's not fit to be the king of Babylon. See, they have a special, you have to meet a certain criteria to be the king of Babylon and he's not fit. They're doing him a favor. They're doing him a favor, man. And I hope he takes you know, I hope that he um, uses the tools that he has available to his benefit, man. Because, you know, you're not going to have no help. I'm telling you, we we figured out the problem, but they won't even speak out. These old influencer um, black women could really, but they don't want to say nothing. Like you said, they're part of the problem. You know, they're probably in agreement. Oh, yeah, well, he is a little dusty. He is a little corny, you know, they're in agreement. So, you know, but it is what it is. Gentlemen, keep grinding, keep kicking, keep chopping wood, keep promoting the good word, fight the good fight. Gentlemen, the good stuff is going to happen. So, yes, sir.